Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you another easy build bed. This is in the same series as we've been doing to get you guys started in making the furniture and stuff like that from a kit. This will be a kit. It'll be listed with the link below. And you will need wood glue and some Loctite super glue. Do not use a Loctite super glue to, do, to glue the headboard and the footboard together because it will like adhere pretty much instantly and you won't be able to move it to adjust it if you don't put it together exactly. All right, so the first thing you need to do is you're gonna take your footboard, and that's a smaller one. Go ahead and put a little bit of glue on it, not too much. And just kind of rub it in with your glue dabber. Then you're gonna take the other one. Make sure you do it with the wrong sides in. There's a pattern on one side. You want the pattern on the outside of it when you do it. You wanna glue it together. And then you should have a square up tool. You're gonna take that tool and you're gonna hold it next to it and make sure you have it squared together while pushing down to make sure it's completely flat on the surface. Once you're sure that everything is flat and level, you're going to take a clamp. I like using these paper clamps because they are nice and tight. Make sure your bottoms are even. See how they want to come apart like that? That's why we need to clamp them together. So make sure they're still even after you've clamped the top. And then you want to go ahead and put a clamp on there so that glue can start setting up. And just clamp it all the way around. If you see any glue that's coming out in the middle where when you put a little bit of glue in there, just use something and wipe it up with it. That'll fit in there just so that you don't have to worry about sanding it later. Okay, now set that on the side, let that dry. Now you're gonna repeat that same process If you haven't glued it together yet, you can use a Q-tip to get inside that hole. Now you want to glue them together the same exact way. Use the square up tool to make sure it's nice and level. Double check the bottom to make sure they're even and the sides and everything. Then you want to go ahead and clamp it. Clamp it again. And clamp it. Let that set up. Now once you've had it sitting for a little bit and it's set up, you can unclamp it. Again, this is an easy build kit, so it's very easy to do it. All right, now once you've done that, you've unclipped it, go ahead and put some crazy glue inside that hole.
try not to get it on the wood because it will show unless you're painting it. Once you have that done, then you want to take the long sticks with the pattern on the outside and you're going to put them in place one at a time. Push this in there so that it squares up. Shouldn't take but a few seconds to get it this get tacky. Do the same thing with the other side. Now you have that part there. You want to go ahead and put some wood glue on there. And then you want to put that right in that hole where you just put that glue. While it's in there, hold this tool with the square up evenly with it so that you make sure that you have this drying even. Don't worry about the sides at this point. They'll fall in place when we get the rest of it together. Now you can undo this. It's been long enough. You want to repeat that same process we just did with the inside here. Put a little bit of wood glue. Now you want to take, pull the sides away for a minute and push them with the two little notches right down in that hole then you can push the pieces on the side in place push this all the way down in there make sure it's nice and tight and then use the square up tool and make sure you have it there until it sets This will give you a little bit better of an angle, but it should be like that. And just so you can see, it's flush on the bottom. Now when you set it up, it should be pretty square. Now my desk isn't perfect, but there you go. And what that means is it's not going to rock. All four pieces, there's like no wobbling in it. And then there you go, you have a nice little bed. Okay, so leave a question, suggestion, or comment below. Um, if you have any ideas that you would like to see me turn into a kit using my laser, put them in the comments and I'll look at it and I may decide to design something like that. Share links to pictures of things or whatever, I don't really care um, what it is as long as it's something that could possibly be done, I'll look at it and I may do it. In the meantime, check out my Facebook page under Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials. I post all of the images and stuff on there as I do them so that you can see what's coming next and I'll also put the link to where you can get this kit below since all of you guys have been asking me for a long time to do kits I finally decided to invest in the laser so I can do kits 
and um, it makes the house a little dusty but it's great having it I love it um, I've been able to design so many things and and you know and this is one of the simple builds figure I'd start you out simple it gets a little bit more intricate there's like some things that are coming up that are gonna take a little bit more time but it's still doable and I've also created some tools that will allow you to do it a little bit better and they'll be coming on the site as well all right well thanks a lot and have a wonderful wonderful day and i will see you in the next video